both teams playing to be in the upper bracket. We Bottom have... lane will be inhabited by AA very soon. Oh, a stun time. Allowed him to claim the rune and potentially with the shackles and cold feet. Easy combination onto Roger. And uh, I don't think Randy... Putting some serious damage into him now. Probably Fire Blastic 2 hitting him. Yep. To dodge the stomp. Just going nice to dodge hex. the stomp. Yeah. And Shackles available. Not again, Roger. Yeah, with our beds arriving. Shackles to begin with. Vortex will be the second follow-up. And Roger, and this will be his fourth death of the game in six Cold minutes. Feet trigger onto no one. But they want a little bit of extra help. So DJ is going to arrive. So there it is. Vortex pulling back with the cold feet. No one can be frostbitten up. And DJ with the ether shot gives all the extra damage to him. But Pasha, he's arriving with the boat and the torrent. No one actually had the life thanks to the one charge. Because Ramses was very close to six, like you pointed out. And that gank could have turned into something much better. Ramses. Oh, DJ. Now well, he'll throw out into the Shadow Den. So you've already lost one. With the EMP burn, Dubu just can't move away the call snap. Just lasting forever. That's all gold behind, but percentage based is catching up. Oh, this is a very dead ogre top, I think, as well as mid. At Dubu, as well as DJ, they just don't stop. No one will go invis. The cold feet trigger. They can see him because they put the sentry one underneath the tower. But once again, Pasha TP's in. Up it. He's going under the tower with a huge ball lightning forward, and then no one. Ice, ice top, so that's another agility for Slark. Some more ramp up. That's a short duration stun. Hex being dropped, that's going to be easily dewatered out. Ice, 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 putting out the Ignite, but no one's arrival. Have they got a shackle? Yeah, they do. Onto Invoker. Arped comes in. Jabs has also arrived with the spin. Ramses will have cover for a little bit longer, but Arped, he actually body blocks him up. Ramses couldn't move through the tree line, so Arped could finish the job. Are we ready for another movement forward? No, we're not. Solo gets a double stun, but Arped, he does not seem to care about Tier 1 towers. Just wants to keep going with a Vortex slow. They get enough of a hit. A double stun from Roger. That's a really quick lens, by the holy he's farmed. <laughs> what? Ice, Ice, Ice is about to get pumped in the middle lane. Sent up by the torrent, stomped down. But remember, it's a tanky ogre, but he's not that tanky. Ice, Ice, Ice actually turned around to get the ignite up to allow an ice blast to fly in. Pasha and Roger, get out of there! They're going to get brought down, or are they? They turn around. No, it's Jabs in for the spin. Ogre and Storm will both lose their lives, but this they did commit the mass up. No one? Do you think he has a kill here? This is a bait. DJ. Jabs is running up through the side. The Hex is out. The Master of Mords combining with the Omni Sash as well as the Ice Blast. Roger and Pasha get hit. DJ gets a little bit more control time, but Arbe with a haste rune. Doesn't need to burn any more ball lightning. And Roger, it wouldn't be a VP fight without another death from him. This would be the eighth <laughs> one into the tree line. Jabs is ch chasing him down too. He'll be the one. To mark. This Lion spells. There's the Elder Titan Stomp you have to navigate. There's so many problems. Speaking of problems, Ice, Ice, Ice. He's trying to move into the trees. Roger's keeping the spirit right on top of him. TP support is on the way. But the rest of Fnatic were far, far up north. So the Master Serpent wants it down, and Invoke will be hit by that DJ. Wants to keep the shackle on him, but he'll have to blink away, realizing Roger had already moved over. Ah, bed! The Sentry Ward is giving the reveal, and no one tries to run away, and he's able to do so. And then Finger of Death from Solo takes down Arbed and jabs in a horrendous position. Trying to run himself away from this. He can't even Omni Slash in time. Ramses was right on top. And you die and you get another kill, and it's like okay ish, but it fell. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. God, it's the solo kill of Roger. DJ flicked up into the trees, but the Shadow's gonna get the kill. Skull vision. DJ will not get out of this one. And he's worth less. Meanwhile, in mid, on to Ice, Ice, Ice. Pasha starting it all off. Ramsey's moving in as well. They know there's no Ice Plus. They feel pretty good to try and fight this one. Ice, Ice, Ice doesn't have a force off any way out of this one. Arpet, in fact, even moving in and realizes that there's nothing to be had. Vision when Slark just slows down. They know they're visible. Tex going both ways. Ice Blast will fly forward. This will hit over on Pasha. Ramsey's almost finished the job over on DJ and Solo. He's surviving through this. They need to finish the job. But Arpet burning all the BKB time to try and kill him off. He was slowed down by the Lotus Orb. But with all that time, Ramses has just been going to town the back line. Struggles finishes Omni Slash, has to spin himself away to safety. And out of range of the ET splitter. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jump in. Ramses found his target. Ogre. Ice 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 does have four staff available. Doesn't get himself out of Roshan, however. Maybe he gets bashed and denied. Nope, no one's got him. It's 11 stacks stolen. What's the BKB agility. burnt from no one? He'll run underneath. Dust, Sentry, Invoker, hexes him up. The Master Serpent Ward's actually catching Solo over in the tree lines. The ET Splitter, it's a nice bit of control, but Jabs, has he got a little bit more into the Omni Slash? Wants to kill off no one. Arbet will be there with him. And then Ramsey's, but they're all out of out of abilities, out of life, out of mana. Arbet's been drained dry from Solo. Has nothing more to give apart from his life. Sometimes a great Observer Ward. Gave so much information. 
Ramsey's moved so quickly with that Blinker Dagger to initiate. Already getting the kill. There is Frostbit and Overon Slark, so going in deep. Gonna be a little bit more careful about this. Jam's already having to spin outside the base. The BKB of Ramsey's gonna wear off in a second, but he's just waiting out the entire Frostbite duration. And now Arbet, is there a catch? Is there a grab? He jumps in, breaks the Lincoln Sphere, and the low solve instant hexed up as well. Couldn't do Jack. When you go in, Spyback is ready. Spark's yep. gonna reset, regen up. Great EMP. Ice, ice, ice. Still has a couple of one charges available, so he's not done just yet. Looking for some stuns, looking for some control over on the Invoker. Three times multicast, combining with the Shackles. Ice Blast is flying in. No one will be hit by that, but he's BKB'd up. Can't say the same for DJ. He's already dead, and Ramsey's moving in deeper, looking to stack up the Essence all over Ogre. And a Tier 3 tower will fall just next. And um, oh, Dubu, next on the list. And set up the fight. Oh, looking to jabs. Ramsey's, in he goes. Jabs very quick onto the spin, however. Ramsey's, the stuns will come out, but so will... The Dark Pact running through and pouncing away. DJ looking for the Hex. The Ice Blast is coming out. He's got Shackles. Only Kunker. Okay, no one will also oh, be hit by Omni. this. And maybe with the Omni Slash, it doesn't bounce out to no one. Jabs has to be cut free. Someone forced off him out. Jabs is finally out. Over towards Ramsey. Spyback comes in from Shaman. They'll need the Shackle Control. Arbed into the back lines. But now with the Ghost Ship Fleet, it's all coming in. And the damage VP, it'll take forever for Fnatic to get it in. And instead, they just get stunned up. Ice 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 will fall. No buyback available from him. DJ trying to hide inside the trees, but they get the sun. Even the tornado sending up the juggernaut to be brought back down again into the sun strike. GG is finally called. Virtus Pro take game one. They have coil and they have the arena of blood that both set up fantastic Elder Titan fighting. Edict from DJ. He's going to go for solo. Didn't dodge the poison though. One more stack would do it. He's dead. Yep. Pop him. Power. The idea was very, very good to defend that tower. Roger. Jabs breaks the smoke. Roger, very quickly hit on. Uh, he's got the arcane rune, so uh, at least lower cooldown. Dubu's on the way over. Spirit into a stomp, but man, with a stampede, they just killed Jabs a second time so quickly. No one was... If that was supposed to be a bait. And DJ said too. They were just too far away. He's trying to edict down the tier one tower. He just wants it. Luckily for him, the edict sticks around, but that's the reason why they uh, they use the fortification. Does I hear? Yeah, he will. Hello. Oh, I just came here to farm. I guess I'll farm heroes. That's just as good. Quick disruption, but Arbed's going to arrive as well. Orp will force Solid to run a little bit further to the west. And there's your Wraith Fire Blast out. So uh, Jabs with the extra crit, able to finish the job. Meanwhile, in mid, no one jumping into Ice Ice Ice. Dubu looking for the Spirit Stomp. Unable to actually good sleep arena. up both Ramses or no one. And Mars, well, he won't get anything off Ice Ice Ice. They also want to have Ice Ice Ice. He's got Blink oh, and Arena up right now. So the jump comes in. If he Blink and Arena's underneath the tower. Storm the Spirit, Spirit where's the heck? The arrow? Is there anything? Just... Arena, do something. Ramses is going to stun him up. Pash is the double kill as well. The double stun as well. DJ will fall. Ice Ice is running out of here. And he's questioning his decisions in Life. Now the arena comes up! Battle on the high ground in the ET splitter! Disruption does kick in, but there's still three heroes down for Fnatic. And what did they get? What did you take? Ramses gets a double kill. Arbet at least gets something in return for the kill on Solo. He'll blink away, but Storm will follow through. And Fnatic! Every single one of them! He's just bait. Pasha is nearby. If someone comes in through the top... Oh, hi, Solo! Um, jump in, jabs, he'll connect on the stun. The Observe Ward gave him the information up the hill. So, great grab, they mean, that means there's no real save for Furtus Probe with the Blink Dagger from Ramses. He doesn't want to, well, one, reveal it, phase shift. Okay, he's into Dragon Form, and then the push back. No BKB triggered from Ramses, so they can just keep going with Chain Stuns, one after the other. Now the BKB timing, no, buyback comes in from the SD. Jabs, caught in the tree lines. He has both the Ankh as well as the Aegis of the Immortal. But they'll create more and more copies. As SD has arrived, Wraith King, he turned the Radiance off, so you actually don't have any Radiance burn from those from those copies. Now he can turn it back on, and Ice Ice Ice, the Arena of Blood, great defensive Yule Scepter, dodging the Spear, but Jabs is still in there, looking for the fight. DD needs to get in there too with the Pulse Nova, and start to burn down through the DK, but he gets a double stun with the Pulse Nova, and the Edict damage, Ramses and Pasha, they're taking through so much, here's your second life now going down from the Wraith King. But don't worry, you know he's got himself a third, as they push back no one, but he's still fighting, trying to pick up these battles. Backlines. Finally, they get rid of the little track, but there's still four heroes from Fnatic standing up and fighting. And Virtus Pro, even with these buybacks, Solo cannot do enough. He'll die in the tree. Obviously, who's going more ores than Mars anything else? Solo Crest, Ice Ice Ice. 
Puts him up against the tree. The spear's there, but where's the follow-up? Arena of Blood. He needs to buy time for the rest of his team to arrive, but the same thing for Virtus Pro. They're coming over under the cover of Smoke. Looking for the initiation in, and this has all happened, and Ice 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 will only now BKB himself out. Virtus Pro haven't really committed that much, apart from Dragonform. Ramses is sitting in the back line, looking for the attack over to Puck. He doesn't actually get it. He's still got Dragon oh, Tail with the chain stun, and now you actually hold them inside the Dream Coil. Nowhere to go. He has to stay, but there's no other choice but to die. Oh. And Ball Lightning, he waited. No one. He has a choice. He always had a choice. Ah, Ben will chase him into the tree lines with the silence. The little Shrax stun. There's actually the Lena stun holding him back, so they couldn't get the follow up. Solo could die, but Storm is still alive. And up they come. Yep. How much have you got to fight with this time around? Pasha is trying to drag the creep wave off. There's smoke in the back lines. Virtus Pro, they're looking for a wraparound. But the box has already been drawn. You actually see it. DJ has, been, has draw, drawn the box on the side, and that's why Arbed is the man standing on the hill. Again, Jabs presents himself, but he's already finished the job with the melee racks. Him and the boys are doing the work. The first stun comes in with Laguna Blade, Arbed jumping in. They looked for the for the Lena, won't be able to get it. Says the oh, Dragon Ramsey's Knight, no. and they haven't got the BKB off. Ramsey's, he'll buy back. Trapped inside the Arena of Blood. Storm Spirit can't get back out, but Pasha with a three man stun. Now Ramsey's gets that spill damage. It's doing the work with the triple stun as well. Maybe Fnatic have been over stunned up, but no, they've got the sustain. Ice, ice, ice. This time he hit a spear. DJ's walking himself off, and maybe. With a double buyback from Fnatic instead. They want to keep the push going. No one jumping around. He's hitting the back lines. Finally, they're going to get rid of that Lashrak. So many remnants sitting on top of him. But DJ, he's tanking through with the pipe, with the one charges, and they turn around and kill down no one. He has buyback available too. He's baiting right now. They'll have to commit it if they're going to defend this tier this tier 3 tower in mid. Pasha jumps in. Another great double hoof stomp. Ramsey's still getting that dragon form damage out. You've got the Wraith Fire Blast flying out of that dead Wraith King. But the Lena still able to land that Line Strike Ray. Jams wants to fight. The Dream Call's already back up again. Ice 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 has rejoined the fight. No arena for six more seconds. But these stuns from Roger. They're buying so much space with the double edge. The damage is there. Ramsey's, he's just splashing everybody in the, in the pool. The jump out. Abed wants to go a little bit further. Got the silence over on Centaur. Is there a chase? There's some de-warding. Storm Spirit looking for it over to the right. Found Arbed. The silence didn't catch him. Roger, another great life striker rate. Won't happen. Arbed blinks himself down, but no one's still right on the tail with the hop stomp. Virtus Pro. They re Mars. That would be really nice. Dead Courier. Oh, VP were trying to scout it. Yields have to over on Wraith King as well. Disruption. Solo wants to make a couple of copies. Buck buys his own refresher orb. Jab trying to run away from this. Just purged up. Having a real hard time getting some distance. Rams, he jumps in with a blink dagger. They're going to finish the job and burn the ank. And that's able to get rid of it. Oh, ice, ice, ice! The three men with the dream coil as well. They put everything together with the ET stomp. Say goodbye to the Lena. Roger did so much in the last fight. Now we won't be here just yet until the buyback brings him back to the front lines. Disruption. BP still delaying. Vortex dragging back that Wraith King. And they can potentially bring down Jabs if only they could properly see him. Now he comes back out. DK needs a BKB and Satanic. Ramsey needs a life back. And here it comes over towards Dubu. This fight is so heavily split. DJ's having a battle over on the side. Rare Roger! Right, he hit the double light trick array. DJ and Arbed. They were so deep. DJ will die. Arbed hit by the brief fire. Triple kill for Ramsey's. No one was doing his stuff for the back line. And even with. The Aegis Immortal inside the Wraith King. Yep. Ramses is already walking up. Dragon form to burn. Fortification from Fnatic trying to delay things as well. Jabs will throw out the stun. They're not going to bait any kind of BKB from Ramses. You'll wait for the right time for that. Nice observe ward up on the hillside too. Jab sees it. He wants to get rid of it to get rid of that extra vision. But the Life Striker Ray will now connect. Wraith King protected by the Lincoln Sphere. Tier 3 tower already gone. Ramses. Man, they just don't want him. Range racks, it will fall. Smoke up from Fnatic. They have a small opportunity just because the rest of VP aren't already there. The three way pushes in, the pipe will protect it so Park can't get rid of it. Wow, Park actually jumps to the back lines. They're going for Solo. The Arena of Blood's good. Solo's going to instantly die, but will they get another rebuttal turn? It's over to Lashrak. The mech is actually a lot of heal through the Greaves and the Dream Call, keeping Virtus Pro to fight, but ST's going to buy back, TP himself into this engagement, and Ice 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 stranded down. Roger doing, going to work, but that's why you have the extra life. Wraith King doing the work, but they move over towards Jabs as the next primary target. Make him invis, give him some space to work. Park needs to get out of here, Arbed! He's down as well. Of course, you've always got that second life. The dead will fight for you. Aragon is on Fnatic's side, but the dead will only fight for so long. 
Oath is fulfilled and Fnatic losing their bottom lane of Rax. Now the second in total. DK left a little bit stranded. The rest of BP were looking to leave. Storm's already ball lightning himself a long way away. Puck will now buy back. They think they have the opportunity. Ramsey's, he's still up. The arrow, maybe it's going to be enough. Pasha, Hoopstock doesn't really get a great stun effect. It's DJ who gets a ton of return, but the cheese consumed up by Ramsey. So no one, he's back into the fight. Getting the pull, Arpen, another arena of blood. Already back up and they gain the spill damage. Fnatic, cleave them. The VP. Buybacks here, ready to go again. Another Hofstan from Pasha, right on top of Jabs. He's down once more, able to get the Wraith Fire Blast Stuns out. Dubu needs to help him out. Ice 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 wants help too, but it's already too late. The Wraith King dies twice over. Ice Ice just BKBing, TPing away. Dubu tries to put them all to sleep, but DJ in the back lines, no one. Has he got enough damage? No, DJ completes his own TP as well. But what have you got left? There's no Puck, there's no Wraith King. The ET's dead, he'll buy back into the game. Mars. No arena of blood. All the damage has to really come from the Lashrak, but there's five players from Virtus Pro beating into these tier four towers to get rid of them. Maybe a Yule separate from the Lashrak, a follow up stun onto the DK, but he's also got Satanic. They jump in, the silence onto DJ. He'll reset back out again. The ET splitter, VP, will split both ways, dodging every single bit of it. And Pasha, he's actually going back to base to buy the refresher orb to then refresher and should VT back in again. So he's got everything ready to go. Vortex dragging back in, ice, ice, ice. He gets a little bit of a rebuke. Elder Titan up in the air. Roger gets the permanent stun. Pasha, there goes your stampede. Run through them. Fnatic's throwing everything they've got, but it will not be enough. Fnatic, they will take every last player down. And then the Radiant Ancient after. Doesn't matter with the Wraith King buyback. This game is done. VP will do what most people thought they couldn't do today. Push through, 2-0 out on the Fnatic and secure themselves a winner's bracket position at TI.